I'm at Schusselfeld in Northern Bavaria at the Morello factory and this is the showroom and this is one of their models, the Palace. Let's have a look inside. Now, this is an extremely exquisite vehicle. Okay, first thing, a wide door. This is increasingly common in many vehicles these days. Now, we've got this enormous amount of space up here in the lounge. You can get, what, seven people around the table, should you so desire. Up there, got a spare bed. Now, the dashboard down here has been integrated into the living area, in my opinion. It doesn't look like a vehicle dashboard. It has been developed in such a way as you sort of feel it's part of the area you're living in. Even the steering wheel comes off, you can put it to a side and that will allow the driver's seat to turn round and give more room behind it. Up here, lockers all the way around. And should you not want to have this seat down here with the television above it, you could have a sideboard with the television above it. Or something else. When you're at this level, then you can get to choose what you want. Okay, up here we have the oven, freezer, wide fridge. Now here we have in the kitchen an enormous amount of space for preparing food, should you so desire. Indeed, if you didn't want these lockers below there, you could even put a microwave or a dishwasher or something like that down here. Let's have a look at how they open. Very deep, elegantly done drawers with, of course, a soft close. You've got a huge amount of area here. Not only that, you, while you're preparing food, you can look out the window. It's, your food prep is assisted by the lighting behind uh, the background lighting. And, of course, you can keep stuff in the lockers above, should you so desire. Let's come to the back. We've got this enormous dressing area down here. Toilet, shower, far bigger than lots of people have at home. Sink. There's me in the mirror. And bed at the back down here. This is the sort of bed configuration I personally would choose, although there's other configurations as well. There's a step up to the bed, should you find that a bit too difficult to get in. Hanging space at the back, lockers all around, lights at the back so you can actually sit up and read and you've got somewhere to stick your glasses. Uh, once you're finished reading to go to sleep and of course there's an electric point up there as well. This bit here as you can tell will slide closed should you want to close it off and this will slide closed as well should you want to close that off as well. Heating next to the toilet to keep the bathroom, uh, well, the changing room maybe we can call it, dressing room, toilet, it's not really a wet room any longer but heating there as well. In here, I've called it a dressing room, so you've got more hanging space for those of who are going to spend a long time 
traveling. And more there as well. If you get one of these vehicles you'll want to spend a long time in it so I believe that you're going to need as much storage space as possible. This van has been built with the needs of the long time traveller, the long distance tourer, the tourer who's away for months on end in mind. Let's now have a look around the outside. Incidentally, if you want more information, you can go to my site, motorhomefulltime.com, and you'll find more there. got these lockers all the way around the outside. Access the electrics is via these lockers and you can see how the vehicles actually built from a different film I did on the factory here. You're probably thinking of cost now. Well, it's quite a lot. It's not cheap, but it is, as it says, a first class rise mobile, first class motorhome. This is another palace, so we'll have a quick look at this one as well. Okay, so you can see from here, got anything long for storage such as skis for example or other things, they can go through there. You can also see how high the double floor is. Electrics are in there. You can get several bikes or boxes in there. The door is the same at both sides. Heating, water. Should you need to dump your water for any reason, you can do it there. You can also flush the uh, sewage tank out if you want. You've got a choice of having either, you can have a cassette if you want for your sewage, but you probably would rather have a tank which you can then dump at the appropriate place. Because obviously cassettes you, don't give you very much storage. see a slightly different colour scheme in here as well as a different bed layout. Here we've got this enormous queen bed. Step up here. And although I have stepped up, I've still got 
clearance above my head. So I'll say the standing height here is around what, 185, 6, something like that. I'm just guessing there. I've also got this enormous roof light up there as well, which you can open, of course. Television up there. Storage here. Oh, this storage isn't particularly deep. So I have to keep some books or socks or something like that in. And there's a view down here. See a different layout here for the kitchen. The coffee machine. You've got this thing here to keep your coffee pods in. And the machine lifts up or down as is required. Same fridge and oven.